Okay guys, I'm here to show you how to set up a Netgear AC750 model number R2, I mean 6020. And first things first, the rear instructions are piss poor that it comes with. That's why I'm making this video. Okay, and that being said, to make it, it'll show it's getting all its connections, but it'll say no internet access. So, before you even do this part, don't even connect your router to the modem. Leave your modem connected to the computer, laptop, or desktop, it don't matter. But hardwire it with the Ethernet cable. And first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to get this Netgear Genie app. I will put all the links in the description that I'm using. First things first, you're going to want to Click back one. You're gonna wanna in the description to copy copy it. You're gonna wanna left click and hold, drag across, right click, copy. And then in your browser search bar, you're just gonna click in there and then right click and then click on paste it. Okay, now back to what we were doing. You're going to want to type in the model number. Now, this don't support all, all Netgear or any, just any old router. It's kind of limited, but not really. But mine is R6020. And then just press Enter. Then you're going to scroll down, click on firmware and software downloads, and then you're going to want to, if you got a Mac, you're going to want the Netgear Genie app for Mac. If you got Windows, you're going to want the Netgear Genie app for Windows. I don't know about the Nighthawk ones, I haven't used them yet, I haven't played with them. I really don't see any use for them yet, at least for me. But you're going to want to go ahead, if you got Windows, like I do, you're going to want to click it. Click Download. And then as it's downloading, you can click the little drop down arrow. Click Open When Done. Or after it's done, you can click that drop down arrow and tell it to open. Once that's done, Go ahead and do the installation. And then you're going to come over here. You're going to click on the little Netgear Genie. This will open up. It's going to have an automatic its own login with a username, uh, admin, and then the password's going to be just password. It's going to should already be filled out, but if it's not, that's what you're going to type in. But it should be. And then what you're going to do after you're logged in. Go ahead and hook up your router from your modem and then also to your computer. And then what you're going to do, even though down here it's going to say no internet access, that part really don't matter. At least it didn't for me. I'm not sure if that part will work for you the way it did for me or not. I can't say that. But for me, it still allowed it to work. So basically what I did, I went ahead and went to router settings, and then up here in your tabs, go ahead and click the right arrow, click on router update, because you have to update the firmware. And I come down here and you're going to click next and follow the instructions. It's either going to open up a little thing right here, showing it doing its job, or it's going to open up in a browser, but I'm pretty sure it does it right here. But either way, it's going to do its job, let it finish. Once it finishes, as you can see, it's going to start working. It's going to give you full access with your to put off the Wi-Fi signal. It's going to give you the internet access. And that's how you do that. And the latest version of the firmware right now is version B1.0.034. Now for the next step,
I'll also have this typed in. But first I want to show you guys this. You're going to want to go ahead and register here. And then also register, click join and register under the community, which I believe it's the community one or it might be both, but you're going to want to sign up and then it's going to ask you to confirm your email address. Go to your email address, confirm it, and then turn around after you confirmed. This password to this is going to change. It's totally going to change. Which it'll say email. You're gonna, the email you signed up with is going to be the username. Your password is going to be the password that it should stay the same unless you changed it. But if I don't, it's probably the it's gonna more likely be the password you registered with. But if it's still just password stock and you didn't change it, you can go ahead and do that by copy and pasting this link into your browser from the description in my video, routerlogin.net, or it comes on this uh, quick startup guide. It'll have the name. You can just hand type it in if you want. But once you get here and you're in, I mean, and you're logged in, you're going to want to click on Advanced tab, Down to Administration, and then Set Password. It's going to bring you to here. Now, let's say you happen to forget the password, which hopefully you do what I do and you just write the password down. It's more safe to do that so you won't forget it but if you do happen to forget it but you got an idea what the password was you can go ahead and type it into this box and then you just type in your new one repeat the new one do your security questions and answers and then that's gonna turn around and it's gonna do the password for your login along with your email address. Now if you happen to forget this completely and you don't even have an idea because you didn't write it down like I suggested <laughs> you're gonna wanna you're gonna have to completely factory reset the router which I'll put that how to into the link in the description so you can go learn how to do that but hopefully you write it down and I believe you I believe you can also set the password through here without having to type in the old but I had to do a recovery which make sure this is enabled too by the way but I had to do a recovery so mine shows old password or since it's if it still shows this just type in the word password because that's what the stock standard password was. And then you're going to go ahead and, and set your new one and so forth. That's how you're going to fix that little issue. Hopefully this video will help you like, like it did me for the fact that I had to learn all this the hard way. But hopefully it helps somebody and you guys have a blessed day and hopefully the video is not too boring and enjoy the rest of your day.